Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. This is Motivational Monday Menu Ideas segment. Something easy, something quick. And you saw it's the you saw the preview pitch and the name. Old school soul food shrimp and sausage Creole. Y'all, this thing is so easy to put together. You won't believe. This is my version of Creole. I know I got a lot of Cajuns probably watching this and people from Louisiana. This is the way I make my Cajun uh Creole. Uh, I serve it over white rice. Which I got some white rice I already cooked. This thing comes together so quickly. It don't take all day to be on the stove. It's something you can actually probably prep ahead like Sunday night and you come home Monday after work and just put this thing together. You're going to see how simple it is. So we're going to move y'all over. Let me show y'all what I got right quick. The recipe is in the description of the video, y'all. I got some shrimp here. P and D tail off. 1620s. Nice, pretty gulf shrimp. Look at that. I peeled them all clean and beautiful. Smell like the ocean of Galveston, y'all. I get all, I'm just on I'm blessed to be able to be near the coast here where I get all my seafood fresh. I got some uh, kielbasa sausage here. I cut, I like to cut my sausage on the bias because I think it eats better and it presents better. I got some diced bell peppers and onions. And I had some of these rings left over from another video. So I'm going to throw them in there too. I don't have no celery. Usually put some celery in I don't have any. So it's no big deal. It's all good. We're going to use what we have. So let me move y'all over here. And we're going to get started. You see I got my rice there to the back already ready. So I ain't got to wait on nothing when this gets ready. Okay. What I'm going to do y'all. I'm going to start my bell peppers and onions. It cooked off here good. I'm gonna throw some garlic in here too, y'all. Throw a little garlic in here. It's gonna have some nice color, y'all. Like I said, y'all, use what you have. If you don't have no, uh, like I said, I don't have no celery in the house. I'm not using no celery. I don't have, if you don't have a, a, a red bell pepper, put a, lot of, I'll put a lot of garlic in there, y'all, about a tablespoon. Man, it smells good. So what I want to do, I'm kind of saute this up a little, about three or four minutes. We're going to get a little salt there. And then we're going to add our tomato products to this. Then I'm going to add a little shrimp base to this. I'm going to let it cook down about 15, 20 minutes. Let that flavor marry together. I'm going to season it up with my Cajun uh, seasoning, which is going to be my shake, salt and pepper. And I might tighten it up, depending on how loose it is. I'm going to tighten it up with a little air root. I like a little body on my Creole. So when I put it on the rice, it sets on top of the rice. It doesn't run all over the place. I'm very particular about that. I hate a runny type Creole where it's supposed to sit nicely on top of the rice. So let me cook this off and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back. Okay, y'all, now I'm gonna add a little seasoning to this. You know what I like to add in flavor here. I got my shake here, Uncle Steve's shake. Sweet and sweet or spicier. Got a little of that. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper in here. Get this all cooked up. Might put a little bit more shake in there, y'all. The shake doesn't have no, it does not salt, it's all about flavor with the shake. Look how good that looks. That's your base there for the Creole, y'all. Gotta have that good. That's the key right here. How that looking, how that uh, smelling and tasting good. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that, y'all. That's your base right there. Now, we're gonna start adding our tomato products. I got some diced tomatoes here. Don't put the lid in there. That wouldn't go well with it. I got some uh, tomato, ground tomato, or tomato puree. See this tomato puree or ground tomato? Either one of them will work. If you can't find that, use tomato sauce. But let me get all this out of here. Oh, my mama would kill me you know, if I don't slosh that around in there and throw that in there, y'all. You know how the older people do it. All right. Get that in there. Mix that up in there. Like I say, this is going to be the base for my Creole, y'all. Now, 
One more tomato product to add. My Rotel tomato is going to give it some kick there. That's going to wake you up when you taste it. And it's not really, really spicy, y'all. It just gives it a little kick that you need. Now, what I need to do, y'all, I need to simmer this about 15 to 20 minutes. I want to make sure all these flavors marry together. And when we come back, I'm going to check the thickness of it. Because I want it to be, like I said, a nice little stick. See how loose it is right now? If I throw that on my rice, it's just going to go all over the place. I need a little bit of thickness. Not thick, thick, but a little body. That's why I'm going to add a little slurry to it, which is cornstarch and water. I'm going to check the thickness. But I won't know that until after it cooked down a little. So I'm going to put the lid on here, cover it up, let it simmer 15 minutes, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, look at this here. Simmering right along, look at that. Now, I'm going to add a little bit more flavor. I'm going to put some shrimp base in here. See this shrimp base? I'm going to put a little shrimp base in here. It's going to get that nice flavor of like a fish stock, seafood. It's going to take it to the next level, y'all. Fish base, I got a specialty place that I get this from. You, if you got a central market in your area, ATB doesn't carry this. But if you got like a central market or something like that in your area, they'll have it. If not, you can get it online. I like all the wet bases, the shrimp, beef, chicken. It just works so much well in the product. So I'm going to get all that mixed in there. Like I say, y'all, it's all about building flavors before I add my seafood and my add my shrimp and my sausage in here. Make sure that base is completely there it is there. I got to make sure it's completely, because you don't want nobody to bite down on that. That would be an eye-opening experience there. So get all that mixed up in there, incorporated. Oh yeah, I can just smell it. Oh my God. That base, when you put it in there, smells just like the ocean, y'all. You know, like the ocean. But look how pretty that is, y'all. Now, now what I want to do, like I told y'all, I want to thicken it just a little. So I'm going to add a little slurry to this. All this is is cornstarch and a little water. I'm going to get a little body on this. See that? See how it thickened up? I don't want it thick, 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 but I do want a little body on it. I'll pour all that in there. Because what's going to happen when I add the shrimp to this, it's going to thin it out a little. You know, shrimp is, has a lot of water in it. Let me turn this down. See that? Okay, now, I'm going to taste this because I want all the flavors marrying in here before I add my meat to my sausage and my... Turn it down just a little. Let me give it a taste here. Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, yeah, got a little kick to it. Look at that nice flavor, that shrimp stock. It's like if you have shrimp, shrimp base and the Cajun, I mean, salt and pepper, then that shake. You could eat this right here, just like this, y'all, with nothing else. You could just eat it just like this. You see how easy this come together? Just 20 minutes right here. And it's almost ready. All I got to do now, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to add my sausage to this, put my meat in there, get it all mixed up in here together, let that simmer, and I'm going to let the meat simmer, <clears throat> about, about, I'm going to let this cook about three, four minutes, then I'm going to come back, y'all, and then I'm going to add the shrimp, because I don't want to add the shrimp until last, because the shrimp don't taste long, taste long, the shrimp don't take long, and... It'll toughen up if you overcook it. Y'all know that if you cook shrimp enough. So I'm going to step off, let this sausage do its thing. And then I'm going to come back at the shrimp. And we're going to be ready to eat, y'all. Old school soul food. Old school soul food. Old school <laughs> shrimp and sausage creole. We'll be right back. All righty, y'all. We back here. Let's check out our sausage here. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Sausage is nice and hot. You know, the sausage is already cooked. So I just need to bring it all the way up to temperature. And I probably got andouille on the recipe in the description. You use whatever smoked sausage you have. This is kielbasa. I like using kielbasa because it's a juicier sausage. It's not as dry as uh, andouille. Okay, now we're going to add the shrimp to this, y'all. Nice, beautiful shrimp. These are 1620s P&D tell-off. 
They wasn't P and D tell off when I bought them. I stood here and took me 20 minutes to peel shrimp, y'all. Okay. I'm slowly going to mix that up in there. And I want to cook this by five more minutes because I do not want to overcook the shrimp, y'all. You got a big pot of goodness here. Get it all mixed up in there. Last thing you can add, I've did some, you add crab meat to it. If I had some jumbo lump crab, I'd throw that in here too. Okay, y'all, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this up by five or six minutes. Because like I said, this shrimp don't take long at all. It don't take long at all on shrimp. So cover this up one more time, and we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, back for the final time here. Oh, yeah, look at this. Guys. Oh, yeah. See that shrimp, nice pink shrimp there? I'm turning this off, y'all, because the shrimp going to continuously cook, so I don't want them to cook anymore, so I'm turning the pot off. And look at that, how pretty that is, y'all. See the thickness of it? It's got a lot of body to it. Nice, pretty peppers. Big old saucy hot wire. Cut the sausage on the bias. It gives you an illusion that you have a lot of sausages in there when you cut them on the bias instead of cutting them in the circles you just have an illusion in the pot like wow it's a lot of, it's just illusion it, it works it's good it, 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 it's funny people eat with their eyes y'all people eat with their eyes okay y'all what i'm gonna do i'm gonna step off i'm gonna get this bowl like i can see my rice over there in the back there see my nice butter rice y'all can see that yeah i'm gonna put me a bowl of rice scoop this on top and we're gonna come back and we're gonna sample this y'all so y'all sit tight i will be right back okay y'all we back here this here make sure y'all get a nice close-up see that how pretty it is got that white rice on there got that white rice on there look at that nice peppers in there with the sausage and the sauce can't get no better than that y'all okay i got a i got a fork and a spoon out here y'all let me taste one of these shrimp i know they're perfectly cooked look at that perfectly cooked shrimp y'all Mm-hmm. That's really good. Mm. Wow. Awesome. We're at the bottom. See that? Mm. Oh, God. Mm. Mm-hmm. Now I get with the juice in them. Mm. Like I told y'all, Like a meal in itself, just with this is the sauce and the rice. Mm, mm, mm. There's no better than this, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god! You don't need no hot sauce. <coughs> mm. Definitely don't need no hot sauce. It's got that kick of sneak up, sneak up on you, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Like I say, the shrimp is perfectly cooked. Sausage is nice and tender. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Cut this. Look at that. I'm going to cut that sausage with a knife, with a fork. got enough body to it you can eat it with a fork mm. all good y'all mm, mm, mm. y'all definitely gotta try this recipe you see how easy and quick I put it together y'all 45 minutes everything's done 45 minutes you got a big pot of goodness for your family and friends and neighbors if you're so fit like me. But, come on, y'all. Get some water, y'all. I know this. All right. Let me close this out, y'all. Monday, mo another Monday, mo my woman. Another Motivational Monday menu idea recipe in the books, y'all. So, if you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow your other, my, 
please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose, Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a blessed week. Stay prayed up and stay safe. Love y'all. Bye.